Across millions of years, Earth has seen predators of staggering power, each uniquely adapted to dominate its realm. Though time has erased them, their fossils reveal stories of unparalleled ferocity. Today, we explore the deadliest extinct animals from every continent, creatures whose strength, speed, and savage efficiency shaped the ancient world. Let's get right into it. Long before Antarctica became a frozen desert, its ancient seas teemed with life, ruled by one of the ocean's most formidable predators, Mosasaurus. Stretching beyond 15 meters, it was larger than most marine reptiles and even some modern whales. Its sleek, muscular body ended in a powerful tail fin, allowing bursts of speed that turned it from an imposing figure into an unstoppable hunter. Mosasaurus's jaws were double-hinged, allowing it to swallow large prey whole. Conical teeth lined its mouth, perfect for gripping slippery fish, ammonites, turtles, and even other marine reptiles. Fossils reveal bite marks on bones of prey, hinting at ambush tactics and violent struggles beneath ancient waves. Unlike slower marine reptiles that relied on bulk, Mosasaurus combined size with agility. Its flippers acted like paddles, maneuvering swiftly to catch or corner prey. Some scientists speculate it could strike from below, using upward momentum to snap its jaws shut around unsuspecting victims. Despite its dominance, Mosasaurus's realm was confined to the oceans. On land, other apex predators ruled, and Mosasaurus never ventured onto shore. Its extinction came with the mass event 66 million years ago, ending the age of giant marine reptiles alongside the non-avian dinosaurs. Bound to the water yet feared by all within it, Mosasaurus remains a symbol of oceanic supremacy in Earth's distant past. During Europe's Ice Age, the cave lion was the apex land predator across vast grasslands, dense forests, and frozen steppes. Larger and more powerfully built than today's African lions, it likely stood over 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder and could weigh up to 300 kilograms, blending raw strength with speed and hunting skill. Fossils and cave art hint that cave lions preyed on bison, reindeer, wild horses, and even young mammoths. Their robust limbs suggest the power to grapple large prey, and some scientists propose they hunted cooperatively, using group tactics to isolate weaker herd members. Unlike modern lions, cave lions may have lacked manes, which would help dissipate heat and better adapt to cold climates. Evidence of healed bone fractures and tooth marks shows the harshness of life as a top predator. Competing carnivores, like wolves and cave hyenas, forced constant battles over territory and food. Cave paintings across France and Spain depict these lions not just as threats, but as powerful forces woven into human myth and survival stories. The decline of the cave lion came with shifting climates at the end of the last ice age. Expanding forests replaced open hunting grounds, and many large prey species vanished or migrated. Coupled with human hunting pressure, these changes left the cave lion without enough food or space to thrive. By roughly 14,000 years ago, they disappeared, leaving behind only bones and haunting images deep in ancient caves. The cave lion symbolizes Europe's lost wild past, a predator perfectly adapted to its world, but undone by forces beyond its control. Its fossils and ancient art remind us of a time when massive cats ruled icy plains, and humans lived in awe of their power. In prehistoric Australia, Megalania stood unrivaled as the largest land-dwelling lizard ever discovered. Estimated at over six meters long and weighing hundreds of kilograms, it turned patience into lethality. Its serrated teeth could tear through thick hide, while likely venomous saliva made escape nearly impossible for wounded prey. Megalania relied on ambush rather than pursuit. In open woodlands and grasslands, it could lie hidden for hours before striking with explosive force. Fossil evidence suggests it preyed on large marsupials and flightless birds that once dominated Australia's Pleistocene landscapes. As humans arrived on the continent around 50,000 years ago, they changed the balance. Combined with shifting climates that reduced the populations of large herbivores, Megalania lost its primary food sources. By about 40,000 years ago, it disappeared from the fossil record. Yet its legacy endures in the massive jawbones and vertebrae left behind, and in the hunting style still seen today in modern monitor lizards. Megalania ruled through patience, size, and the silent promise of a venom-laced bite, making it Australia's deadliest predator from a vanished world. The saber-toothed cat, with its unmistakable canines reaching over 28 centimeters, was one of North America's most formidable Ice Age hunters. Weighing up to 400 kilograms, it wasn't built for speed, but for power. 
using heavily muscled forelimbs to wrestle prey to the ground before delivering precise fatal bites. Fossils from the La Brea tar pits in California capture scenes of both opportunity and danger. Dozens of saber-toothed cats drawn to trapped prey, only to become trapped themselves. These sites offer a glimpse into an ecosystem where large predators constantly competed over massive herbivores like bison, camels, and juvenile mammoths. Unlike today's big cats, the saber-toothed cat hunted by ambush rather than long chases, relying on surprise and raw strength to bring down prey quickly. Its long, blade-like teeth were specialized tools, effective for severing arteries but vulnerable to breakage if misused. When the Ice Age ended, North America's large herbivores vanished, removing the cat's primary food source. Combined with pressure from expanding human populations, this specialization became a fatal disadvantage. By about 10,000 years ago, the saber-toothed cat disappeared. Yet its fossilized skulls remain icons of evolution's most dramatic experiments, a predator adapted to perfection for a vanished age of giants. In the Pleistocene plains of South America, the short-faced bear towered over nearly every other predator. Standing over three meters tall when upright and weighing nearly a ton, it combined sheer bulk with surprising speed thanks to long limbs built for covering open ground. Unlike modern bears, which rely heavily on forests and mixed diets, the short-faced bear likely dominated the plains as both a hunter and a powerful scavenger. Its massive jaws could crush bones to reach marrow that other predators left untouched, turning each kill into a feast few could challenge. Toothwear patterns suggest it consumed large quantities of meat and bone, highlighting its role as an apex carnivore. The bear's size meant it faced little direct competition. Even packs of large Ice Age wolves or big cats would hesitate before confronting such a giant. Its height allowed it to scan vast distances, spotting carcasses or vulnerable prey, while speed enabled short, explosive chases that few herbivores could outrun. Yet as the Ice Age ended, the sprawling herds of large herbivores it relied on began to vanish. The short-faced bear disappeared around 11,000 years ago. Its towering skeletons stand in museums, silent reminders of a predator that ruled more through dominance and raw power than stealth. In Asia's Eocene epoch, around 45 million years ago, Andrew Zarkis roamed ancient coastal plains as one of the largest terrestrial mammalian carnivores ever known. Its enormous skull, stretching over 80 centimeters, hints at a predator or scavenger capable of crushing bone with ease. Though only its skull and fragments have been found, Scientists estimate Andrew Zarkis may have measured over three meters long and weighed close to half a ton. Its teeth included large, robust molars suited for cracking bones alongside sharper teeth for slicing flesh, a versatile arsenal suggesting a mixed diet. Some paleontologists believe Andrew Zarkis actively hunted large mammals, while others propose it primarily scavenged, using sheer size and jaw strength to intimidate other predators from carcasses. Either way, few creatures in its habitat could challenge it directly. Living along warm coastal environments rich with prey and carrion, Andrew Zarkis likely shaped its ecosystem by controlling access to food and exerting top-down pressure on other carnivores. Over time, climate shifts and changing habitats may have reduced its prey base, leading to its extinction. Though its full appearance remains speculative, the skull alone reveals a predator whose bite could shape ancient food chains. It stands today as Asia's answer to the question of what raw terrestrial power once looked like. In the river deltas of mid-Cretaceous North Africa, Spinosaurus rose as one of the most unique and fearsome predators ever discovered. At over 15 meters in length and several tons in weight, it surpassed even Tyrannosaurus rex in size. But it was its lifestyle that truly set it apart. Unlike most large theropods, Spinosaurus had adaptations for a semi-aquatic life. Its crocodile-like jaws, packed with conical teeth, were perfect for gripping massive fish. Fossil evidence shows its dense bones helped it stay submerged, while a broad, paddle-like tail provided propulsion, turning it into a formidable swimmer. Its towering sail, formed by elongated vertebrae, remains a mystery. Theories suggest it could have been used for display, temperature regulation, or even to attract mates. On land, Spinosaurus likely moved on all fours at times hunting or scavenging smaller dinosaurs and other animals near the water's edge. Few predators could rival Spinosaurus in either realm. Its ability to dominate both river channels and floodplains gave it an ecological reach unmatched by most dinosaurs. Extinction came around 93 million years ago, 
likely due to shifting river systems and environmental change. Today, Spinosaurus stands as the ultimate symbol of prehistoric adaptability and scale, a predator that blurred the lines between land and water, becoming Africa's deadliest extinct hunter. These creatures reigned supreme through strength, size, and perfect adaptation to their worlds. Yet even the deadliest hunters could not outmatch forces beyond their control. Climate shifts, dwindling prey, and changing landscapes sealed their fate. In the end, it was not a rival predator, but the power of an evolving planet that ended their reign, reminding us that even the mightiest fall when the world they depend on disappears. If you enjoyed this video, then smash the fuck out of that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.